Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first intermediate grade. Our textbook is Super Goal 2 and today we will cover what are you going to wear there, listening and pronunciation. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazin Al-Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Agil. So let's begin. Our objectives in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to fill in a chart with specific information and practice different pronunciations of going to. Before we do this, let's make quick revision on our last lesson. Last lesson, we have talked about our grammar rule, which is using future be with going to. And we said that if you want to talk about the things that we plan to do, uh, in the future, we're going to use the phrase uh, going to. And we usually use it with the verb to be. For example, we say I am, or you, we, they are, or he and she is. So we use the subject pronoun and the verb to be and the, uh, the going to. And we, all, uh, we always use going to in the future. If you want to talk about something happens in the future, and then comes after the verb. So for example here, I am going to wear jeans. I am going to wear jeans. It means not right now I am wearing jeans or in the past. It means this is something that I will do in the future. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. And this is why we use going to. We use going to to talk about something that will happen in the future. And we said that we always use contractions. So either we said am or we use I am. Either we said your or we said you are. And uh, his or she's or he is or she is and so on. And also if you want to make a negative statement for the things that will happen in the future, we will use it and we will going to add not before going to. For example, I'm not. You're not, you aren't, and he's not, or he isn't, and we aren't. So this is how we can use the negative uh, statements for the future. And also we said that if you want to make question about uh, what will happen in the future, we're going also to use the verb to be. For example here, we're going to start either with are, is, or are. So here we either we say, are you going to wear jeans? Is he going to wear jeans? So this is a question about the future and whether you're going to do that thing in the future. And as with all the short questions, always the answer start either with yes or no. And the, uh, the subject pronoun we use here depends on the question. So. Are you going to wear jeans? Yes, I am. Are you going to wear jeans? No, I am not. So this is how can we answer in a short uh, questions. And also we have talked about the time expressions. So you see, not only using going to uh, indicates what we're going to do in the future, but also we can add to going to, we can add time expressions. It means that using words or phrases that indicates the future. For example, tomorrow, next week, and next month. So when we use these expressions or these words in a sentence, it means that I'm talking about something that will happen in the future. For example, what are you going to wear to school tomorrow? What are you going to wear to school? Going to wear to school tomorrow. So, going to wear. This is something that will happen in the future because we are using going to, and the expression tomorrow. It means that this uh, will happen also in the future. So we can use going to, and we can use the time expression. So, what are you going to wear to school tomorrow? I am going to wear my uniform. So this is how we answer. Let's have a look at the second question. Is she going to go shopping for clothes next week? So next week also we said that this is a time expression. And the answer will be yes, she is. So we can use going to and also we can use time expressions to talk about things that will happen 
in the future. So how can we form, we said, how can we form a sentence in the future? We said that we start with a subject pronoun and a verb to be and going to and a verb. And let's see examples of, uh, uh, of this form. So here, this is the, the example we have talked about in the last lesson. I am or I am going to play. I am going to play football next weekend. So here, I use going to in the future and also I use the time expression. Also, I am going to study English tomorrow. I am going to study English tomorrow. So here, I used going to to talk about things that will happen in the future and also I use tomorrow, a time expression. Also, another time expression, I'm going to travel to Mecca next month. I'm going to travel to Mecca next month. So here, going to, this is also something happen in the future and also next month. This is a time expression to talk about things happened in the future. And also we have answered uh, this interesting exercise where I told you to try to unscramble these sentences and based on this form, you try to form a sentence from the beginning. So this form said that we start with subject pronoun, a verb to be, going to, and a verb. So here we, ca we uh, applied it to uh, this exercise. For example, the first one we said, we start with she, this is a subject pronoun, and the verb to be is, okay, and after this going to, going to, and comes after it by. And also, if you remember, for number two, we said we start with subject pronoun. In this case, the subject pronoun is they, and the verb to be is are, and then going to, and then where, which is, which is the verb, and then we uh, complete the sentence. So it's important that we follow the form. It's important that we follow this form if we want to uh, unscramble these sentences and write them in the correct uh, order. And also other exercise where I have showed you these pictures and I have asked you a couple of questions about them. So I said that uh, imagine that you're going to these places. Okay, so let's talk about them. Where are they? What do you think? Where uh, are uh, uh, these places? And also is the weather there hot or cold? And do people there wear formal or, uh, formal or uh, casual clothes? So you can talk about, uh, about it. And also, what can you do there? What can you do there? So if you are going to these places, what can you do there? And here you can use the uh, expressions, use going to in the future, and also use uh, the time expressions. So basically, this is all what we had uh, in the last lesson. Uh, since we're talking about the future going to, uh, to talk about the things that we uh, uh, are going to do in the future. And now for our lesson for today, now I would like you please to open your books on page 43. I would like you please to open your books on page 43. Now on page 43, we do have a listening exercise. And what, we, what we need to do in this listening exercise, we need to know what are Adnan and Mark going to buy. We're going to listen and complete this chart. We're going to write all the colors you hear each person say. So have a look at th uh, this chart. So it is divided to two persons. The first one is Adnan and the second is Mark. We're going to talk about what are they going to buy? What type or what kind of clothes? And also the colors of these clothes and also the style of these uh, clothes. So what we need to do is that we're going to listen and when we listen, we're going to fill in this chart with this information. What are they going to buy? What is the clothes? Uh, what are the clothes uh, and the colors of these clothes and also the style of these clothes? So uh, as we do in every listening exercise, we're going to listen twice. The first time you only listen for listening. You don't have to fill or write anything. And for the second time, no, you listen and try to look for the answers uh, uh, to fill in this chart. So let's begin with our first uh, listening with Adnan and Mark. So let's begin first with Adnan.
I'm going to go shopping this afternoon. My brother and I are going to fly to Sweden on the weekend, and I need some warm clothes. I need a coat, and maybe a pair of boots. There are a lot of new leather boots out now. I'm going to buy a brown pair. I'm not sure about the coat. Maybe blue or black, I'll see. Very well. Now we have uh, listened to Adnan, so now let's listen to the other person, Mark. I'm going to go to the mall. I have a job interview and I need a new suit, a white or blue shirt, and a plain tie. I'm going to buy a dark gray or dark blue suit. The clothes I have are too casual for an interview. I need something more formal. Very well. Now we have listened to Adnan and Mark for the first time. But before we listen for the second time, I have a couple of questions for you. And let's uh, uh, see whether you know the answers uh, uh, from the first listening or not. First, where is Adnan going to go? So Adnan said when he talked about, uh, uh, when he talked about himself, he said that he is going to a certain place. So do you know where is Adnan going to go? Very good. The answer is that he is going to go to Sweden. Adnan is going to go to Sweden. The other question. Why is Mark buying clothes? Why is Mark buying clothes? So from the first time you have listened to this, why is Mark buying clothes? He said the reason or he stated the reason of why he is buying clothes. Do you remember what that reason is? Very good. Yes, he is going to buy clothes for an interview. He is going to buy these clothes uh, for an interview. So this is only uh, uh, the, the this is the questions of the first time listening. Now let's listen for the second time, and this time we're going to focus as we're going to try to fill in this uh, chart. So again, let's listen first to Adnan and pay attention as you're going to uh, try to know what kind of clothes he's going to buy and also the colors of these clothes and the style. So let's listen to Adnan. I'm going to go shopping this afternoon. My brother and I are going to fly to Sweden on the weekend and I need some warm clothes. I need a coat and maybe a pair of boots. There are a lot of new leather boots out now. I'm going to buy a brown pair. I'm not sure about the coat. Maybe blue or black, I'll see. Very well. Now we have listened to Adnan, and I'm very sure that you have uh, read, uh, wrote down some of the information about uh, Adnan. Now let's listen to the other person, Mark. And this time, as we did, you try to write down some information about uh, Mark's uh, uh, answer. I'm going to go to the mall. I have a job interview and I need a new suit, a white or blue shirt and a plain tie. I'm going to buy a dark gray or dark blue suit. The clothes I have are too casual for an interview. I need something more formal. Very well. Now we have listened to Adnan and we have listened to Mark and each one of them talk about what are they going to buy. So what we need to do now is try to fill in this chart with this uh, information, the information that we elicit from listening to Adnan and uh, to uh, Mark. So let's begin and start to with uh, Adnan. So what is uh, uh, or why Adnan or what are Adnan going to buy? We said we agreed that Adnan is going to Sweden and so he decided to buy a clothes. So let's start with what kind of clothes that Adnan is going to buy. So, do you remember from listening to Adnan, what kind of clothes is he going to buy? Very good. He is going to buy coat and boots. Adnan is going to buy coat and boots. Now, this is the kind of clothes that Adnan wants to buy. So, let's begin or let's talk about the colors. What kind of colors does uh, Adnan want his coat and boots? Do you remember? What Adnan said about the kind of colors that he wants to buy for uh, his coat and boots? Very good. Yes, he said maybe blue or black or brown. 
So Adnan said, maybe blue or black or even brown. So Adnan also said in his listening that, uh, or uh, in his speech, that he is not sure. He is not sure, it means he is not 100% sure that he will go for that color or the other one. So he made uh, uh, an options. He said that he made options. He said maybe blue or black or even brown. And what is the style of these clothes? So we know that he's going to wear coat or he's going to buy coat and maybe it's blue or black, but what is the style of these clothes? What do you mean by style? Is it that uh, the kind of clothes that is casual, that when you go, the kind of clothes that you wear when you go shopping or when you hang out, or is it formal, the, the kind of clothes that you wear when you're going to your job or you're going to a ceremony or a celebration? So what is the style of Adnan clothes? Very good. He is going to, the style of his clothes is casual. Casual. It means that the kind of clothes that you can wear when you go shopping or when you go uh, to uh, hang out or to the park and so on. Now, these are the answers of Adnan. So the kind of clothes is he's going to buy his uh, coat and boots and the colors blue, black or brown and the style is casual. Now let's talk about Mark. So, do you remember what kind of clothes is Mark going to buy? Very good, it is a suit or shirt and a tie. So he's going to wear a suit, shirt and a tie. And uh, what color? In what color does he want uh, his clothes? Very good, yes, he said that dark gray or dark blue, white or blue. So, he, uh, since he's going to an interview, so he need uh, uh, something suitable for that interview. So he said that either dark gray or dark blue, white or blue. And do you remember what is the style of his clothes? Do you remember what is the style of uh, Mark's clothes? So we know Adnan is casual. So what about Mark? Very good. The style is uh, formal. The style is formal. As we agreed that when you wear formal, it means that you're going to meet someone maybe for the first time and maybe for uh, a work or a business or uh, an interview in Mark's uh, case. So here are the Mark's answer. He's going to wear the kind of clothes that he's going to wear is suit, shirt and a tie. And the colors uh, of uh, uh, his clothes is uh, either dark gray or dark blue, white or blue. And the style is uh, formal. The style of his clothes is formal. So here you go. These are the answers of uh, this chart. These are the answers of this uh, chart. And make sure you have wrote down uh, these uh, answers. And now we're going to move to the other part, which is pronunciation. Now we're going to move to the other part of our lesson today, which is pronunciation. Now. We're going to listen to the pronunciation of going to and notice how the two words are pronounced together and then we'll practice. So, I'm going to read or I'm going to pronounce these sentences twice. The first time you listen only for listening and the second time when I pr pronounce it, try to repeat after me. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to meet my friends. I'm going to meet my friends. You see how pronounce, uh, we pronounce this one? I'm going to meet. I'm going to meet. Next, what are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? I'm going to wear a sweater and jeans. I'm going to wear a sweater and jeans. So now we're, I'm going to pronounce it for the second time and this time you repeat, you try to repeat after me. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Going to do. I'm going to meet my friends. I'm going to, I'm going to meet my friends. 
What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? I'm going to wear sweater and jeans. I'm going to wear a sweater and jeans. So this is how can we pronounce going to, whether we uh, have going to uh, in questions or we have it in sentences. But there is an important information that uh, we need uh, to understand about the pronunciation of going to. The information is that usually in formal situation, formal situation, it means that when you talk uh, uh, in, uh, in a formal setting, like for example, when you uh, talk to your teacher or maybe you talk to someone you met for the first time, in formal situation, we use going to, we use it in full. So we said, I'm going to study. For example, you're talking uh, to your teacher, I'm going to study the uh, exam tomorrow. So this is what they mean by formal situation. But when we're talking about informal situation, we pronounce going to as gonna, gonna. Uh, for example, when you talk to your friend or your classmate uh, about uh, what you're planning to do, you can say, I'm gonna study for English. I'm gonna play football. So we use going to for formal situation. Maybe you're talking to your teacher, talking to someone for the first time. But when you're talking to your family or your friends, you can use gonna. You can use gonna. And this is uh, an, uh, an uh, everyday uh, English. You can say, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna eat, and so on. Now, before we finish, don't forget on your workbook on uh, to, uh, to check pages uh, 108 and 109 as we have uh, additional practice with the grammar of this unit. And now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.